Some UK landlords are about to lose their houses. HMRC have issued a warning to stop UK landlords from using illegal tax planning schemes, namely less tax for landlords and also Property 118. I am a chartered accountant from London and I help people deal with finances and tax. Buy to let landlords in the UK, including large landlords with large property portfolios, are potentially stuck in a £50 million tax avoidance scandal. HMRC are assessing two schemes which are extremely popular within the UK landlord community. These are called less tax for landlords and property 118. These tax avoidance schemes are designed by mixing and matching various tax planning strategies in a way that overall it does not work. The scheme promoters were paying thousands of pounds worth of referral fees to drive new business and attract new landlord clients. Landlords felt that they were attacked by the UK government because of these new tax changes. The tax scheme promoters are not taking on any new clients. However, how about the clients who have already received their services? They have sold hundreds of these schemes to UK landlords and ultimately HMRC will go after the landlords to recover unpaid taxes. I think a lot of landlords are about to lose their buy-to-let properties because the failure of this scheme has so many tax implications which were ignored by landlords. Due to these new tax rules, for high earners, it makes little to no financial sense to carry on investing as a buy-to-let investor unless you're a cash buyer or you do something like a service to accommodation. In this scheme, less tax for landlords, a limited company was incorporated, but the property ownership is never transferred to the limited company in order to avoid capital gains tax and stamp duty taxes. The tax avoidance scheme promoters were setting up a partnership, a limited liability partnership to keep landlords as the basic rate taxpayer so that they're not subject to section 24 changes and the mortgage payments were reimbursed by the limited company to the landlords. Technically, if landlords own the property and receive funds from the limited company, this has to be declared in their personal tax returns. However, this was not done properly and according to HMRC, the tax scheme, less tax for landlords, is a failed tax planning strategy. Without a doubt, all landlords who participated in this scheme will pay a significant sum of money to HMRC for a failed attempt to reduce taxes. Last but not least, these actions by HMRC should not discourage landlords to consider legal tax planning options to reduce taxes. There are certainly ways to reduce taxes on property rental income, but it has to be done properly. Unfortunately, the legal method usually carries a large upfront taxation cost, which is what drives the business to these illegal tax avoidance scheme promoters. I hope you have found this video useful. Like and follow to stay connected.